Those paragliders? It used to be a night runner's favorite toy. You a night runner? Me? Night runner? <laughs> I wish. They were really something, Aiden. Real heroes. The only thing I had in common with them was substance abuse. But maybe someday. <laughs> jobs others wouldn't and spend every penny on medication. We'd return with the medicine and set up our families for life. I'm not proud of what we did, but we did it.
What do we have here? What, what did I do to you? Let me go, please. <laughs> Glad you came along when you did. Thank you. Inhibitor container detected. <sighs> Seen any signs of renegades around here? No. See, Private? Now calm down and let Aglot think. What's there to think about? Why not head back to base? Who the heck are you, anyway? I'm someone offering to help. I'll check what happened to the power. You know anything else about it? That's top secret military information. We're trying to figure out how to get up there. Just go ahead and tell him everything, why don't you? Every last detail. 
Well, what's the big secret, huh? We need to get this piece of shit working, that's what. My colleague's vastly oversimplifying things, but his gist is correct. There are obvious signs of the electricity having returned, and this here appears to be a substation. It and others like it are capable of transmitting electricity throughout the city. We have orders to get this building functioning once more. Meaning, turn it back on. Unfortunately, without climbing equipment, access to it is severely limited. You want the electricity for the peacekeepers? What would you do with it? Plug shit in. What do you think? The gentleman here must be asking how it would affect other people if the control of power is in the hands of peacekeepers. The answer, however, is relatively simple as well. Whoever controls the power controls the city. I got it. In any case, I don't need equipment to get up there. I can climb up there without the equipment. You'd be willing to do that? You'd be doing a great favor for the peacekeeper. Uniform! Take what? Electricity brings all the lines up. Just raring to get flames. What was that he said? I think it was something about his mother and a goat. PK morons! We'll be taking that electricity! Thank you very much. Kill him. Wish I brought my gloves. This seems pretty fucked up. You can't hide from the PKs, man. What about you, bud? Who taught you how to fight like that? Name's Aiden. Hey, you guys know this one? What do the bullets say to the man that got shot? Just pass him through. Yeah! <laughs> you severed his limbs with a machete, Nitaf. Technically speaking, that's a melee weapon, while bullets are reserved for- I'm glad you're fine, too. Still want to climb up there, Aiden? Not for free, of course. We reward specialists fittingly. Well, no time like now. If you need any help up there, give us a holler over the radio. Aglot's good with electronics. However, from here, I can estimate the level of damage done to the apparatus. Aglot's got a knack for electronics. Are you about to proceed? I forgot to bring snacks for patrol again. I'm inside. How's it look? Well, somebody was in a big hurry when they took it offline. I would surmise the main circuit suffered a break. Find a cable and connect the source of power to the transmitter. That should restore the circuit.
Yep, I'm on top of the substation, trying to connect power to the transmitter. Uh, I wasn't a piece of cake in here, after all. Sure you're gonna make it? I met a bunch of PKs who couldn't get to the substation themselves. So that's why you haven't called me yet. You should see them. Get to decide which one I like more. You know that'll cost you, right? The peacekeepers, they're all right. But they're not the sort to help out of the kindness of their hearts. I wouldn't know what to do if it wasn't for them. Besides, they're down there, and I'm the one up here. Tough choice, huh? I would give it to them. I mean, fuck them. They have their own men. And what about the free folk? Someone should be on their side. Who else, if not people like us? Hmm. I'll think about it. Just don't take too long, Gajo. Wait, what? I'm already done here, and you're dicking around over there. Always with the competition, huh?
Plugged it in. What now? Activate the control unit. It's in the control room. On my way. Your help is an important contribution to make this city safer. I just wanted to say that so you feel appreciated and so you understand how important this is. Okay. Thank you. I guess. Who'd have thunk it? Don't act so surprised. <laughs> Just yank in your chain. Meet me back at the canteen. This could be the start of something beautiful. Don't stay out too late. I don't know. 
things the station by yourself. Spend all your time so you're handsome her. and you're when smart. You have a plan to me with a good guy. Got a uh, girlfriend? You think yeah. Uh, you guys okay? Ah, maybe you can help us. Help save our marriage. Uh, how about you just don't argue? You're right. We'll stop immediately. We love each other too much for that nonsense. Far too much. But without garlic? And no sardines. So, you can only make up with each other over sardines and garlic. Seriously? Oh, yes. Mmm. <laughs> All right, where can I find garlic and sardines? You see, it's like I told you. There are still good people in the world. I have to think where the sardines are. Give me a moment. But wild garlic grows here and there on the city's tallest buildings. So where are these sardines again? That's right. There was a convoy. Four trucks filled of the best sardines money could buy. But they crashed. It was horrible. Precious cans scattered all over the place. Horrible. But I still don't know where to find them. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Oh, you'll never remember. I'll tell them. Like I said, they're scattered all over the neighborhood. And don't you sigh at me, mister. Okay, okay. Don't kill each other before I get back. Us? Why would you say such a thing? We speak only the gentlest poetry to each other. Poetry? More like sea shanties coming from you. Just keep calm and stay put. I'll find your sardines. <sighs> I'll try. Grab the basket when you're ready. I'll mark the spots where the sardines are for you. Good to see you.
Oh, wow. You haven't killed each other. Here are your sardines. You're wonderful, our savior. Don't go overboard. He just brought us some sardines. So, uh, do you roast the garlic first, or do you eat it raw with the sardines? Is this all you could find? We'll hardly be able to make up properly with this little. Can you bring us more? Pretty please? You guys... You guys never stop, do you? <laughs> 